Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome. Okay, so this is a you versus them meeting. So this is done monthly. This is for your December 2023. And this is if you have someone in mind, someone you're interested, someone you want to know about. If not, then this reading's not for you. If you're not thinking about someone or want to know about someone, then this reading wouldn't even um, pertain to you. But if you are, this will be your side, this will be your person, and in the middle will be your mutual energy. So let's first see what your thoughts are about your person. Let's see. We have temperance, being patient with them or wanting to balance things out with them. Mm, you might be trying to manifest something with them. Hey, I think you want to work with them or you do work with them. There's something here about working together with them or, or it's trying to work something out. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else we have here. With the temperance, we have the king of wands. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign. Or you could just be finding this person very attractive. Um, very charming, very attractive. Maybe a leader. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get a charm on that. And we have, oh, we have here, what is this? Oh, we have the old-fashioned phone. So cute. Okay, so maybe you're thinking of... Um, you wanted to talk to this person. I would say more than anything, you want to talk to them. Maybe actually in person or on the phone. Not text, not email. I mean, this could be any kind of communication, but I'm thinking that you want to talk to them. Okay, that's your thoughts. You need to talk. There needs to be a conversation, and you're trying to manifest that with the magician here. Okay. Then we have, ooh, the Ten of Cups. I think... Either you've been married to this person, you are married to this person, or you probably want to be married. You want a family with this person. Yes, a golden opportunity, a new opportunity, something coming in here. You want something to start again, or you want something to happen. Okay, now, what are their thoughts about... Oh, oh, let me do the words. King of Wands. I almost skipped over that, sorry. We have committed... Ooh, a tower. Okay, so surprise... Maybe you're surprised that maybe you want to be committed or they might be surprised. But some someone's going to be surprised about someone wanting to be in the commitment. Take it how it resonates with your circumstances. Now, let's see about their thoughts about you. Ooh, we have here the tower. Something happened unexpectedly or may they feel that way or something or may they want to surprise you we have here the queen of cups they see you as very loving very nurturing very caring okay so scorpio cancer pisces but of course you know you are a scorpio but they're here's they think oh they got the wreath here maybe they're thinking of something around the holidays here they might be planning to surprise you around the holidays we have the christmas wreath or a wreath anyway we have here, oh, the page of wands. Yeah, I think they want to get a message to you. They want to talk to you. So it seems like you both want to have a conversation. Get a charm on this page of wands. Okay, yeah, something has to change. We have the butterfly here. They want change. Okay, what about the tower, though? The tower is Aries Scorpio energy. Let's see about this tower. We have here, eight of pentacles. Okay. Seems like they want to work on this with you. Or maybe you guys do work. Don't you have the eight? You both have the eight of pentacles. You might work together. You might be in the same company, same department or something. Or it's just the fact that, that you both want to work on this. Okay, the queen of cups. Five of wands. It might be competition or they're worried about arguments and fights. Um, they're thinking that's going to happen. We have six of cups. There's memories here. They have a lot of fond memories of you. Okay. Let me get the words on these now. First, the Queen of Cups we have here. Exposed. Feelings. Obsessed. Ooh. So maybe this person's thinking of actually exposing how they feel. They're obsessed with you, though. They are. What about this page of wands? We have New Start. Revealed. Reunite. Ooh, I think this person wants to come back in here. They're, they're heavily thinking about you and thinking of making a move here. They're going to surprise you, it looks like, with the tower being there. Okay, get ready. Okay, so now, what are your feelings towards this person? Okay, you want to heal this. Four of swords here. 
heal the situation. And we have, okay, Knight of Cups. Coming in with a love offer here, Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But you're stuck in your head. You're in a mental prison. You don't know what to do here. Okay. Let me get the... Okay. We have a hammer here for the Knight of Cups. So, what does this mean for you? Does someone use a hammer in their field of work here? Is someone like a carpenter? Does someone use a hammer? Or is this something you want to, you know... You want to hit the nail on the head here. You want to get the information across. You want something to be understood, maybe. Okay. Maybe both. Okay, why do we have the four swords here? Let's see. Ooh, a painful ending. Yeah, you feel like this was a very painful ending that happened between you guys. And then we have the Knight of Cups we have here. Ooh, we have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Okay, so maybe you're feeling like maybe... You should rush in with your cup. Just get it over with. You got a lot of swords around here. Oh yeah, you want to mend this. We have, now for the um, Knight of Swords, we have the sewing machine. So let's mend it, put the pieces together or um, the missing pieces. You want things to be working out here. Okay, now what about this Eight of Swords? So you're being in, it, in your head about this. It's mental prison. Ooh, the Queen of Wands. Okay. So with the Queen of Wands... We have the, okay, you guys, you might feel like you guys are a perfect match. We have the king and queen of wands. There's a lot of attraction here. Let me get a charm on that. You're very, um, you desire this person. They desire you. You desire each other. There's a strong connection here. I don't know why it didn't work. Okay, let's see. Someone did something, I guess. Knight of Cups. Let's see what's going on with this Knight of Cups. Love. Sincere phone call okay there's gonna be communication you guys are definitely gonna be talking you both want it so it has to happen and this um knight of swords we have here is it sharing after so after you share your then you're gonna be thinking about well will this work will it or won't it okay what about the queen of wands we have career meeting past did you guys work together? A lot. We have the two work cards. We have career here. So yeah, there might be something. Maybe you met through your work in the past and this is coming up for some reason. Someone's stuck in their head about that or how you met. You know, take it resonates. It might be for you, might not. Okay, now let's see about their feelings towards you. What are their feelings towards you? Let's see. Hmm. Why do we have this here? We have the devil. What do we have here? Okay, there might be obsessing over you. Capricorn energy. Can we deal with a Capricorn? We have. Oh yeah, you're the nine cups to them. They feel very strongly for you. Oh, and then we have here the work card again. They want to work with you, or work on this. They're obsessed with you. Okay. So let's see about the devil card. We have the four of pentacles. They don't want to let you go. They do not want to let you go. They don't want to lose you. And they want the ten of cups with you. Wow. We have the ten of cups on the nine of cups. Yes. You are their wish fulfillment. And then we have the justice. They want to make things right. This is called to be a contract. Libra energy. Contract meaning like a marriage contract. Ah, this person wants keeps. They definitely want keeps. Okay. Now, what action might you take towards them? Did I have any people here? No, right? No. Okay. What action might you take towards them? We have the two of cups. Ooh. Two is always a decision, too. Someone, you might be thinking about this. Ah, I... Okay, four of cups. You might make an offer. I, with this, um, four of cups, I'm sorry. Four of pentacles, four of coins. With this card here, this is like you might offer a little something. You might have more to give or willing to give more. But you might be at a bartering stage here. You're going to offer one pentacle, so you have four. So whatever that means for you. You might say, okay, let's talk. Let's see where we go with this. You're not going to say, let's get married right away. You're going to see, you want to see what they have in their hand too. Okay, let's see. We have here someone being left out in the cold. 
You don't want to be left out in the cold. You're probably worried that they will leave you. I don't think this person can leave you out in the cold. This person wants you bad. Okay, ooh, but we do have the, what is it with the devil energy? Either you're dealing with a Capricorn, or there's a very obsessive behavior. Maybe, maybe they are very obsessive here. Possessive, um, jealous. So maybe that's a concern of yours. Okay, that makes sense. Or there's some kind of something going on with them. Maybe they have addictions, or there's something that you're worried about. Okay, let's see about the Two of Cups. Yeah, look at this. Now we have the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to make a decision here. You're not sure. You're on the fence for sure. Okay, what about the Four of Coins? Ah, there's a heavy burden here. About something here. But usually this means that something's coming to an end when you get the Ten of Wands. A burden's coming to an end. Might be that you have a lot going on. Okay, the world. So completing a cycle, ending something, start something new. So you might be finishing something up, wrapping something up, and then maybe thinking about starting something with them. Okay, we do have here, this is the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're thinking of working with them, teaming up. You're still not too sure, though, what you want to do here. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Now, go to their side. What action might they take towards you? Okay, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, this could be some kind of competition or it could be arguments. Ooh, the Six of Cups. There's a very strong past life connection or of memories, very strong memories with this person. Okay, and or both. We have the Queen of Wands. They're very attracted to you. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands now. What do we have up here? I forgot now. This is, oh wait, who's underneath? Okay, okay, the Queen of Cups, okay. Queen of Wands, yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, let's see what you don't see or they don't see coming. Okay, so we have here. So yeah, this is world. You both have the world card here. Completing something to start something new. Okay. So they don't see that coming. They might be ending something, start something new, or they're about to. Okay, what is going on with this Five of Wands? We have the Emperor. Ooh. I think this person is trying to take control of the situation. Ace of Cups. Yes, they're, uh, they're going to offer you their cup of love. Okay, Queen of Wands, I need a charm on this. Oh, they have a lot of love for you. <coughs> Sorry, I got a tickle. Big open heart there. And then we have, ooh, the star. You are their hopes, their wishes, dreams come true. They have nine cups, ten of cups, star. Yeah, they want you. And they're trying to get the strength to come towards you. This girl also be dealing with a Leo. I got to cough again. I'm going to pause it for a minute. Okay, I don't want to keep on coughing. There's a tickle. Someone wants to speak. And that's, I get coughs. I get all kinds of things when I'm channeling. So that's what that's about. Let's get something on this Queen of Wands. Sincere, break up, forget, love. Okay. Mm. So they might be breaking up with someone because there's no love there. And they're going to be very sincere with you. Because that's what I'm getting from this is you could rearrange these and mean something else for you. That makes more sense to you. But the energy I'm getting from this side here is this person is crazy about you. And they want to make this work. They might be in a commitment. You might be in commitment. But you both might be breaking away from wh whoever you're with to come together here. It almost feels like this might be the timing now. Okay, so now let's see what uh, mutual feelings you have. What are your mutual feelings? Let's see. Make the effort. You're both willing to make the effort. Well, that's nice. And then we have sexual union. Ooh, you both want this. It's very strong desire. Very compatible there. And then we have wisdom. And you're both being wise about this, or you're both, um, maybe you're both, you enjoy each other's wisdom and new love. Now, this could be starting over. I don't, because if you're, this is your mutual feelings, I think you both want to just start fresh. To start clean slate, new love. Okay. Now, let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have here Aries. Cancer. Cancer. 
Libra. There you go, Scorpio. Scorpio again. And Pisces. Okay. Well, we have all the water signs. Okay, again, this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, future, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay, and then maybe you could be dealing with no Scorpio, too. Okay, so let's see what letters we have. This will be initial, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have O, D, O, B, I, Q, oh, that was T, and I think I flipped, oh no, it's still a T, okay, T, P, Y, H, M, Okay, so letters we have for today are O-D-O-B-I-Q-T-P-Y-H-M. All right, now for the names. Let's get 11 or more names for you guys. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have here... Gordy, G O R D I E. We have K R E, K Y R E E M, Tran Trina, T R E N A, Brian, B R Y A N, Samuel, Miriam, M I R I A M, Cornelia, Rakio, R A C K I E L, and Shatini, S H A S H A S T I N I. Oh, oh, Aquarius just popped out underneath. Okay, so we might have Aquarius that's hiding. Aneta, A N E T T A, and Victor. Okay, so we have. This is. Okay, twelve names. So there's the names. All right, guys. Now remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please only take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, you can always check out your other placements. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. Might give you, um, a, you know, the missing piece, the missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together for you guys. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I really appreciate you guys. And um, thank you. F I love you guys so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your s subscribes, your comments. The comments really help me. I really do appreciate them. And your super thanks. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.